All right. Hey there, you guys. I'm super excited to be back with another interview of one of the awesome people I get to be in business with here within the Growth Collaborative of EXP Realty. Josh Mockney is here with me, and he is local to me here in North Idaho. So I get to see Josh in person. We're some of my partners, as you all know, 27 states. I don't get the chance to do that. So that's one of the blessings of having partners here locally for me, for sure. And I'm excited to talk to Josh because Josh is newer into the industry, but has partnered with one of our uh, teams that has partnered with us. And they're just an amazing group of humans. And I'm excited to talk to Josh about how, you know, being in partnership with EXP and with a great group of agents and team inside of EXP is really helping him to just get into the career and be successful uh, in the ways that he wants to be. And so I'm excited for a good conversation. Josh Mockney is with Embrace Realty Group. They're here in North Idaho. Um, some of them also uh, service the Spokane area in Washington. Um, and Josh, first, before we get into business, Business stuff. I just like people to get to know you as a human because what we know is that we work with people we know, like, and trust as humans first. And then what we do is kind of secondary, right? So tell me a little bit about yourself um, and how you got into real estate and just uh, whatever you think it would be uh, good for people to know about you. Yeah. So, um, like Carrie said, my name is Josh Mockney. I live here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I'm a husband. I've been married for going on six years. I've been with my wife for almost 10. I have two children, my son, Gavin, who's four, and my daughter, Asher, who's 21 months. She'll be wow. two in April. So definitely have her hands full with that. And, uh, kind of what got me started into real estate or even got me interested in real estate was my kids naturally. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to, wanted an opportunity to provide a better life for them um, than I had. And I just don't envision myself working a nine to five job and trying to balance, you know, uh, being a husband and being a father and being, you know, professional on a schedule like that. Uh, real estate interests me because I love building genuine connections and making friends and surrounding myself and my family with people that are like-minded and have the entrepreneur and business mindset. Um, and I just think that's very important. So that's what got me into real estate. I love it. That's what a lot of people get into real estate for is truly the ability to not have any ceiling on their financial, um, you know, potential so that they can have and give uh, for their family what they want to and many what they weren't able to have themselves, but also the time freedom to be able to be a present parent. And sometimes that's a little bit of a battle, you know, doing both, but this is one of the only careers and entrepreneurship in general, where you get the chance to make those choices and, and work towards making that happen. And I, I just think it's awesome that you're doing it when your kids are young, because uh, that time goes by super fast. Fast. So um it's gone by so fast. It goes by so fast. Yeah, like your daughter's already yeah. almost two, right? And where did that time go? Yeah. Um, yeah. so what do you love the most about living here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho? Oh man, living in Northern Idaho, definitely um, I'm not originally from here. So it definitely has a lot of the things that I enjoy doing, uh, where I came from in Southern California, which is I was very much uh, big into being outside and so there's just so many different like outside activities to do here i love fishing and honestly the sense of community and the patriotism that Coeur d'Alene really has really like drew me to it um i definitely like to take pride in you know where i live and um, so that's very important to me and then just a lot of the same morals and traditional values um i just really appreciate and that's why i love more idaho yeah. It's drawing a lot of people here just for that very reason. And it's awesome because it's attracting like-minded people, like you said earlier. And I think yeah. a lot of people listening to this will resonate with you that either they came here for the same reasons, um, you know, me too, and, or they yeah. are thinking about it. And so yeah. working with someone like Josh, who made that transition <clears throat> himself for his own family, um, you know, he can resonate with people who are looking to do that and help them make a move here um, and enjoy the same things we get to enjoy. So that's a really unique thing that you bring, um, having an outside perspective and then knowing what the pros and cons, because no place is yeah. perfect. There's always things that no. we have to know about that we might not love about an area. And so being able to uh, talk to prospective clients thinking about relocating here will be important. And you have that perspective, which is really cool. So what else besides that, because I know there are other things, are you finding um, that you really get a lot of joy out of in your uh, career? here or just things that you have been able to bring to this career that kind of stand you apart from maybe some of the other realtors in the area? 
Yeah. So um, probably my favorite thing about real estate is I get to just talk and network and meet so many different people. And I love that because I'm a social butterfly. It's all my teachers in school. I used to get in trouble all the time because I love talking to everybody. So, um, you know, definitely not being restricted to, you know, one type of like niche, like it's nice being able to talk to investors, talk to property managers, talk to like all these different trades and get perspectives of, you know, how the market's going or how they handle business. So that's probably one of my favorite parts of real estate. And then obviously showing houses. I love looking at houses. I'm a shopper. So um, going and looking at all these cool different houses and the architecture is just totally different here than where I come from. So uh, it's really cool to see like the difference in design and houses and regions and even cities here. So that's probably what my favorite part of real estate so far. I love it. Yeah. And you guys have done a phenomenal job of just assembling your team of resources around you um, and having connections with local experts that can service your clients in all areas. And because <laughs> you're such a relational person, being able to develop those relationships at a high level is extremely important for your clients. And I think a lot of people don't realize that they think, okay, I just need to choose a realtor and they're going to help me through everything. The realtor is as strong as the team around him or her that they you know, are able to build through being a great person, um, a collaborator, someone that is going to contribute to those relationships and help one another. And then it's really going to benefit their clients. And I think that's a great strength of yours for sure. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's definitely something I take pride in. It's very important to me to find, you know, vendors or people that I work with are very like-minded and they come with the same type of customer service and that servant mindset, right? Um, that's the biggest part is just taking care of our clients to where the process because buying a home or selling a home is so stressful. I want to take that stress away. I don't want you to have to worry about it. I want it to be more of an experience than something you have to deal with. I love that. Yeah. And then it's a positive experience and home ownership is important. We know, and you know, as a young, um, you know, family, how important it is just to have a safe, stable, safe environment to raise our families and our kids. I was talking about this yesterday with somebody else and it's, you know, it's great to have a house, but it's more important to be able to feel like you really have a home that you can raise your family in and that there is that security. Um, and that that's where you're going to be able to make memories. And so the home is important, the location, the community around you, all of those things. Things. And so the more your realtor is integrated in those things and understands that, I think the better off that experience for a client will be. Um, and that is uh, something that they can look for when they work with you, I think. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. So do you have any um, specific types of clients that you think you service the best or um, you know, anything that you've recognized in your career um, as far as your ability to help those that are looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate? Yeah, so I don't really have a you know a specific type of client I can work with. I'm pretty easy to get along with, and um, it doesn't matter if you're you know a luxury client or you know somebody else maybe you know getting into their first home or something like that, less experience. It doesn't matter. You're gonna get the same type of service from me, um, and I enjoy working with everybody I can. Um, so, yeah, yeah, and so really, it's just about someone that wants to engage, have a two-way uh, relationship with you, um, become a team with you. You know, I think that's important that, again, oftentimes people think, well, I'm just going to hire a realtor and then this is how this is going to go. They're going to do this for me. I always looked at it as this is a participatory relationship. We're on the same team. You have a goal and yes, you're hiring me to help you with that, but like together we're going to get you to your goal. And so having that good relationship, I personally think is super important. Yeah. Building that strong foundation is very important. Yes. And then, um, you know, you can go to your realtor, by the way, you can go to Josh for anything that you need, even if it's not buying or selling real estate, because as he continues to be connected in the community with vendors, with the partners, um, he can be the resource for you ongoing as you live in this community. Um, and that's the thing that I think the realtors that we're partnered with here at eXp Realty take very seriously, which is we just want to be the resource. How can we just help people? If we come from a place of contribution and helping as many people in any way that they need help, like we're going to be fine and we're going to get what we need in our yeah. career and for our families. And um, we really work hard to live by that Zig Ziglar quote, right? If we can help as many people get what they want, we'll get what we want. And um, together, because we're in this awesome platform of eXp Realty, we get to link arms. You know, Josh and I know that together we can do things. I have strengths that Josh doesn't have and vice versa. His team has things that, you know, bring to him and he brings things to them. And all of us together know that if any one of us succeed, it's like really helping all of us. And so when you hire somebody like Josh and specifically 
specifically Josh in this case, you know, you really are hiring a team of people um, and a bunch of people who are vested in the interest um, that you have in your goal of home ownership. So that's just really important to me. And I love being in business with you, Josh, because you are so kind. You always have positive energy. You um, are super helpful, super collaborative. Um, and it's just like, I always know if you're coming into the office or I'm coming into yours, like you're always going to be a pretty steady in your energy. To me, that's extremely important um, because we uh, really borrow energy from one another and it helps us go be the best versions of ourselves. So I'm sure your clients feel that when they work with you too. But for that, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for that. Thank yes. You. And so how can people get a hold of you if they're looking to make a move to North Idaho or if they're looking to make a move to a different neighborhood? What would be the best way to get a hold of you? Um, the best way is probably through call, text, um, email always works, but you can also find me on socials. Um, I can give you the links to my Facebook, and Instagram, and that has all my information on there as well. My contact information and uh, you can check me out and see what I'm doing in the market. That'd be great. And we're going to have all of that information at the end of this interview. So you can easily find it and you can reach out to Josh if he can be here to help you. If you think he might be a fit for one of your friends or family, I know he'd certainly appreciate the referrals and I guarantee you he'll take great care of you or anybody you refer. So Josh, thanks for being in business with, uh, with all of us here and the growth collaborative and for all you do here in, um, the relationships in, uh, North Idaho. We really appreciate you. Thanks, Gary. I appreciate you. Thanks everyone. See you soon.